All right, so it's kind of long overweighted for this one, yeah? Not yeah. really like crazy long. It's not like I did this all the time, but recently I mentioned I've been doing a little bit of my hit exercises outside, get a little more movement, feel a little more athletic, um, and it's been nice. Like today, it's pretty early in the morning. It's not too, it's not too hot out yet, me. It's like yeah, it's, it's it a, feels like seventy. Yeah, but it's a prime temperature. Like it's still cool. You know, it's in the morning, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, no, we're about to. I'm about to take you through a little hit session. Uh, especially with what I like to do with some field work. So if you're looking to gain a little bit of explosiveness, uh, some of the moves will help you with that. But I'll show you guys the warm up too. Uh, but yo, exciting news! I think it's in this bag. I brought too many bags. First off, I got the bag, man. Exciting news! EHP just dropped a new flavor of the best fat burner, which is Oxy Shred. Orange gummy. Orange gummy, man. It means all about the orange gummy. You, mean, you tried Dude, it. It's you, fire. You tried it the last couple days, right? I tried it yesterday for the first time. Yeah? Yeah, best flavor ever. Yeah, see, I, I was lucky enough to um, actually haven't had any out of this container yet. I was lucky enough to sample some uh, when I took that Australia trip, so that was pretty, that was pretty chill. But uh, we're about to get the proper amount of water in here. And this is today's pre-workout. So it does have caffeine in. They have, uh, a couple months ago, they came out with the non-stim. Um, but that was pretty good. Kiss my peach, peach flavor. Um, Do you find the scoop in this one? Yeah. I think I... I should have left it in there. I didn't take it out. Around. All right, I'm going to dig for it as I talk. But, uh, yeah, this one, this one is, like I said, I haven't had it in a couple months, but it's pretty good. Um... I can't find the scoop, so sometimes you just take the little bag and you scoop it in. Oh wait, shoot. I found it, but it's like, it's buried in there. I think I'm chicken around too much. So we're gonna approximate a scoop with this. Not recommended, but hey, it works. I know my scoops too, so that's roughly a scoop. Just trust me on that one. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm excited to have this again. Discount, if you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link in the bio. Um, discount Marco 10 you know save a little money support your boy yeah, that's pretty damn good that's pretty good damn mama's getting it Can you get that in yeah oh, I'll leave it in that's uh you know who that is no me neither <laughs> it's a good song all right, so, you know what? I did, when we first started doing this outdoor workout, me knows, I felt like really, I felt like doing the most. So, I mentioned in my last video, which was that ab day, I think, that I used to play little football as a kid. And I always, so here, here's a little backstory for you. I always wanted to get, like at Dick's, they have like all the practice shoes, all the game cleats. I always wanted a really dope pair of like game cleats but you know that was that was never really happening when I was a kid so I always I always you know went for the you know the basic like shoes you know what I'm talking about the basic cleats as a kid like yeah it, it, it was what it was I was never that salty like I'm gonna I'm a play good anyway you know what I mean but but uh it's kind of like it's weird when life comes full circle I felt like spending a little bit extra getting something nice to run in because I've always wanted something like these cleats so these are the uh I think the name of them is Nike, Nike Vapor Untouchable Threes, and uh, I like the gold. I oh, don't know. I saw the gold in store. We were actually shopping back. Yo, that's crazy full circle. We were, when we were shopping for your shoes that we mentioned two videos ago, I saw these at Dick's and I was like, yo, I think it's time. So I pulled the trigger and they're smooth. Honestly, they're, I haven't, I, I can't really review cleats because I haven't put a pair of cleats on and like, I don't know, probably, geez, man. How long do you think? Six years, maybe eight years. Six. It's like it might be seven years. Oh. Like almost till before high school, but hey, let's have some fun. All right. So my back. We hit back there yesterday. Yo. We deadlifted, we didn't deadlift in a minute. Is your back sore? No, I feel good actually. Really? Yeah. Man, I woke up tight. I don't know if I slept wrong on it. 
either way we got to warm up a little bit so um i'll take you guys through kind of the warm-up i've been doing uh i'm definitely gonna first focus on like my lower back and hips so oh Feels good though, no lie. I'm so, when you're so tight, you know what I'm talking about. You just need a good stretch. Get in there. All right. basic too but I'm gonna do a couple little jogs just to kind of get get my gait going for today open up my legs a little bit more but man so if they've seen some of you follow me on Instagram you probably see me training a little bit and yeah, icing a lot after some of these sessions so the key if you haven't run in a minute especially if you've been weightlifting you're like yo I want to try this form of cardio pace yourself when you start I tried to pace myself a little bit. Yeah, I like to push, but honestly, I did a little too much, too fast. And uh, I don't know what the severity is, but I definitely have some kind of shin splint. But it's nothing, nothing crazy. You just gotta be smart. So if you do get them, definitely ice a couple times a day and rest. You really wanna rest, because any kind of impact, like what we're doing now, is just gonna make it worse. But uh, I did wanna get the video filmed, and they've been feeling a little bit better because I've been icing them, but still I know probably after this I'll probably take a good week off of doing this kind of hit go back to some lighter impact steady state at the gym uh, it's like get back out here just because needs time to heal needs time to heal but um warming up stretching all that'll definitely help but pace yourself All right, so nice and warmed up. We're about to start. First exercise I'm gonna do is, cause I still wanna warm up too. Um, so the first two I'm gonna just do is my explosive exercises, knock them out. We're gonna do a kneeling tuck jump and then a broad jump. So if you haven't done the two before, I'm about to show you. There's a little bit of form to it. The key with any jump is you wanna get the power from your legs, but also use momentum with your arms. Really truthfully, it's about getting the heart rate up and then getting a good workout outside, doing something outside of the gym. Oh. All right, so just 10 of those to start. This will be more circus style. So the way I kind of threw it together is I didn't want to do too many exercises because honestly, my body, like I said, gets shot pretty quick from doing it and not being used to it. All right, so the next one we're going to do is a broad jump. Again, we're going to do about 10 reps here. pretty smooth as tired as far as I am I'm gonna take that usually when I've been doing this 
I'll just pick two explosive exercises and then I'll go into some uh, more running so kind of sprints or suicides I'll show you what I'm about to do next but what I'm excited for is kind of in the coming weeks I'll probably start throwing in some kind of banded work too so it's really really good if you're really trying to practice explosion um, there's there's some mean mean banded exercises you can do outside or even inside in a gym um, so I'll probably touch on those that's that'll be part two this is a beginners part one so the next two exercises now we're gonna do sprints so we're gonna do 40s today which is gonna absolutely tear me up and then but before we do the 40s we're gonna do kind of like a shuttle um, but I want to go a little bit longer so a true shuttle I think is in football is like 10 yards you start in the middle you go 5 10 and 5 again um, I want to go a little bit longer just to open up my stride a little bit more so what I'm gonna do is more of a suicide style so I'm gonna start at the end here because I'm gonna go five yards here back to the start 10 yards back to the start and then all the way through 15. So just a little bit longer, just to open up my gate and then a little bit more distance. So I know my heart rate's gonna come up because I'm doing it for longer. So we'll do, we'll start with five of these, five of these. Ready? Go. Good, it feels good. Smooth, baby. Always jog it back. That's what my football coach used to say when I was like seventh grade, 90 pounds. Jog it back. They're watching this, they know. I jogged, I didn't, I never dogged. I mean, once in a while I dogged it, but I usually jog, usually. Uh. Easy on me, make it easy on me on this last one. I'll just go 30 to 30 for the 40s. Uh, we can kind of chill in the middle. this I really feel those shin splints more than anything else so yeah I should rest I want to get this video out that's also another reason I kept it short today just for my sake because I need to recover but um it's weird I feel way more impact on the um sprints than I do like even even the tuck jump the the broad jump it's just so I think it's all about the force landing especially slowing down trying to slow down on my heels but I end up, you know, still kind of using that front of the foot to stop me and it puts a lot of force through the front of my shin bone. So you do what you can. Yo, that's effective, man. That's effective. So truthfully, if my legs weren't in this bad of shape, so that's five sprints, five suicides. If I weren't in this bad of shape, I'd do that two more times. So I do a, a like three or four rounds. My shins are screaming. So I wanted to just get the content out. But one thing I'm definitely gonna do, next next outdoor hit video, first part of the video, we're timing my 40. I've wanted to do that for a minute. We can do that. What's that? I said we can do that. Yeah, we'll definitely time the 40. Um, yeah, that'll be dope. I wanna, I'm curious what my time is because my goal with this is I know I lost a little bit of speed just bodybuilding for a few years. Still doing that, that's the main bread and butter. Like I said, this is more just for the cardio for me, but I'm also want to use that time, the energy I put into cardio to get my speed back, get a little agility, a little bit of athleticism that I definitely lost. Just when you're just bodybuilding, just in the gym, you're only doing so many explosive movements. So I'm excited, this is, this is the start of it. We got a good 
good little amount of summer left here in Ohio. So we'll definitely use it, use it to its fullest. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said, leave a comment if you want me to be in the next video. And the next video, I'm timing more 40. Uh, today, today was trash. You know what I mean? Today was trash, but you know what? That's okay. You gotta start somewhere. And uh, probably drop in in a couple weeks. So I got some trips coming up. I'm actually moving apartments. Um, not very far, but you know, every move is stressful. And this business finally coming together. The website's like 90% done, and the training programs are probably halfway done right now. So I'm excited to bust all these things out in the next couple weeks. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. As always, thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Also, besides just seeing me in the next video, if there's other topics you're like, yo, please talk about how you do this or this, just hit me up, leave it in the comments. I'll be there. But uh, that's some field work, some hit. What's hitting today? But what do I know? I'm just Merc. Peace.